Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Rosie. My name is Rosie and today we are going to be doing a slow and gentle non-standing yoga class. Now, <laughs> today I have my yoga mat and I have a blanket on top just to make this extra cozy today because it's kind of getting into the autumn months. I also have on my woolly Christmas socks so if you want to put on some warm clothes you can do so. We're going to be moving around a little bit so nothing you know too heavy but let's get started. So we're going to start off in a seated position with your legs crossed, whichever way is the most comfortable for you and the most natural. We're going to start off just in a nice seated position. Maybe you want to have your hands on your knees. The other option is to have your hands in prayer hands or maybe one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy. We're just going to gently close our eyes if you feel safe to do so. And just start to focus on our breath. So try to forget about the world around you. Try to forget about any problems or worries that you might have. And just focus on your breathing. Noticing your chest moving with your inhales and exhales. Maybe noticing the air passing through your nostrils. Maybe your tummy moves. reconnecting with your breath. Let's have one more inhale and exhale together. Let's gently open our eyes. We're going to move into a gentle twist. So you can place your right, your left hand on your right knee and then slowly twist your body to the right hand side, looking over your shoulder. Your right hand isn't particularly pushing anything. You might want to place your hand on the floor, but you're mostly twisting through your body with a slight bit of pressure on your left hand with your right knee but nothing too strong. Gently twisting. Let's go back through centre and do the opposite side. So your right hand comes to your left knee and you gently twist to the left hand side looking over your left shoulder. Again, we're not doing anything too much here. Just gently twisting the spine. Remembering to breathe throughout this practice. and back through centre. Let's place your right hand on the mat next to you and then with your left hand you can sweep your arm up and over your head and over to the right hand side for a side stretch. Now the aim of this stretch is to stretch your arm and your side body here. So it's not about going all the way over to the floor, it's more about reaching with your left arm. So reach your left arm over to the right hand side until you feel a nice stretch down your left side body. So this might look different for everybody, which is absolutely normal. So we're stretching and we're also breathing, stretching through your fingertips, making sure that your butt cheeks are on the floor. Stretch, 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 and let's go back to center and do the same on the opposite side. So place your left hand on the mat and your right hand comes up and stretches over to the left hand side. Again, you want to feel the stretch down your right arm and down your right side body. So this might look different for everybody. Stretching through your fingertips. Keeping your sits bones on the floor. Stretch, stretch, stretch and back to center. The next thing we're going to do from this pose is to lean forwards. So again, this might look different for everybody. Your knees might be up here. So wherever you are, it's normal, it's absolutely fine. But we're going to start to move our hands forwards. And I'm actually going to sit at a bit of an angle here so that I'm not on the wet grass. But with your legs crossed, just start to walk your hands forwards. And this is going to stretch your hips. And just find out kind of where feels good. Maybe you want to sway from side to side. You might want to come down onto your forearms. This might look different for everybody. 
And you want to reach your fingers as far as you can and maybe bring your forehead down to the mat. Wherever you are, just remembering to breathe and finding what feels good for you today in this moment. You can try some different variations. Maybe you want to find some movement. Maybe you want to find some stillness. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to press back up and come back to our seated position and we're going to cross our legs in the opposite direction so the way that feels weird I know it's going to feel weird for all of us so for me that's with my left foot forwards and we're going to do all of those movements again but this time with our legs crossed the opposite direction so if we start off with our breathing technique so again your hands might be on your knees your hands might be in prayer position or maybe you have one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy Maybe you want to close your eyes if you feel safe to do so. And again, trying to forget about the outside world and just focusing on your breath. Focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Noticing how your body moves when you breathe. Connecting with your body, connecting with your breath and feeling present in this moment. Gently opening our eyes, we're going to move into the gentle twists. So place your left hand on your right knee and twist gently to the right hand side. Noticing if your body feels any differently with the opposite leg in front. Let's move back through centre and over to the opposite side. So right hand on your left knee and twist over the left hand side, looking over your left shoulder. Again, feel connected with your breath and your body. Do you notice anything different from the first time that we did this? And back through centre. We're going to bring your right hand down to the mat and lift your left hand up and over and stretch over to the right hand side. Again, it's not really about stretching all the way over, it's more about reaching through with your fingertips, reaching, reaching until you find a nice stretch down your left arm and down your left side body. Stretching, 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 reaching, reaching, remembering to breathe. And back through centre, let's do the opposite side. So left, left hand comes down, right hand comes up and over and reaches over to the left hand side until you feel a stretch down your right arm and down your right side body. Reaching through your fingertips, pressing through your left hand for stability, keeping both sits bones on the floor. Reach, 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 stretch, maybe wiggle your fingers and back to neutral. And then we're going to lean forwards again. So I'm just gonna move position. So keeping your opposite foot in front, for me it's the left foot in front. So we're going to gently lean forwards and again find some variations, find some movement or some stillness, find what feels good for you today. You might want to come down onto your forearms, maybe you want to come onto your fingertips and stretch all the way forwards, maybe you want to bring your forehead down to the mat. But just notice how this pose in particular might feel very very different, it certainly does for me. With the opposite leg, I can put my forehead on the floor and here I can't at all. So it's going to feel different. I think it's because we're used to always putting one foot forwards in front of the other. 
So it's nice to change that to do the opposite. Just to find some movement in some range of motion that we're not used to doing. So again, maybe you want to sway from side to side like I'm doing. Maybe you want to reach your fingertips forward and stretch as far as you can. Just noticing how your body feels. When we're ready, we're going to press back up to a neutral position. I'm just going to come back to the center and we're going to move into Bhadakanasana. So for this pose, you want to bring both of your feet in together so that your, your soles of your feet are touching. So again, your feet might be further away. They might be closer to you. This is all going to depend on your body and on the day. This might change from day to day. But from here, you have a couple of options. So something I personally like to do is to have my hands on my ankles and almost press my knees down with my elbows and lean my chest forward. But my back is nice and straight. I'm not hunched over. I'll show you from the side. So I'm not doing this. I'm pressing my knees down with my elbows whilst keeping my chest lifted and my back straight. So this is a great one for opening up the hips, finding a deeper stretch by pressing your knees down. If this isn't something that you want to do today, you have a couple of different options. Otherwise, you can maybe lean forward to bring your hands out in front of you. This might be a nice stretch. Maybe even bring your forehead to your toes if that's an option. Just remember to breathe throughout this whole practice, no matter where you are. And the third option is actually to bring your hands behind you and puff up your chest, bringing your knees down to the floor, but pressing your chest up to the sky, maybe your gaze up to the sky as well. So there's three different options here. I'm just gonna stay here for a couple more seconds. So maybe finding some movement Maybe finding some stillness. Finding what feels good for you today in this moment. Pressing back up to centre. The next thing I'd like us to do is to actually do some circles. So you can either have your hands on your knees, or maybe your hands on your ankles. Start to lean forwards and then over to the right and then back over to the left and forwards. So let's do that two more times going this way. So right, back, left and forwards. One more time, right, back, left and forwards. Let's do that in the opposite direction three times as well. So this time left, back, right and forwards, left, back, right and forwards, last time, left, back, right and forwards. How does that feel, finding some hip mobility and some movement in that pose? Let's move into head to knee pose. So for this, you're gonna to want to sit lengthways on your mat. We're going to extend both legs out and just give them a shake. Shake your legs. So you're going to bring your right foot in towards you so that the sole of your right foot is somewhere near either the inside of your left calf, your left knee, or your left inner thigh. From here, we're going to try and sit up with a nice straight back, shoulders back. With the inhale, we're going to raise our arms up above our head. And with the exhale, fold over your left leg. So maybe your hands come to your thigh, to your knee, to your shin, or maybe even your ankle or your toes, depending on where you are. And we're just going to let gravity do the work and just bend over the left leg. So we're not pulling, there's not a lot of tension. We're just kind of hanging out here. Remembering to breathe.
Let's come back up and swap legs. So extend your right leg out in front of you and your left sole of your foot comes towards either your right calf, your right knee or your right inner thigh. Again, we're going to inhale our arms up above our head and exhale, fold forwards over your right leg. So again, your hands might come to your thigh, to your knee, to your shin, or even your ankle or your toes. So wherever you are is absolutely perfect. Remembering to breathe. Just letting gravity do the work here. We're not pulling, we're not stretching too far. Just finding some gentle movement, some gentle stretches today. Let's do one more inhale and exhale together. Come back up, stretch your left leg out and give your legs a little bit of a shake again. Maybe you want to tap your thighs, <laughs> whatever feels good, let's do that. So we're going to bring our knees in towards us and come up into a tabletop position, which means that your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. So you want to start off with a nice straight spine. So you're, you've almost got a flat back as if you're a table, <laughs> hence the name tabletop position. And what we're going to do is move through our cat cows. So with the inhale, we're going to drop your belly down to the floor and slowly lift your chest and your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, round your spine, bring your belly button up to your spine, reaching up and looking down to your knees. Let's inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round your spine, look down. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round your spine, look down. Back to a neutral position. We're going to move through bird dog. So for this one, you're going to extend your right leg out behind you, maybe balancing on your tippy toes, and then gently lift your toes up off the floor so that you're balancing. And this might be enough, but if you want to do a little bit more, start to lift your left hand up and stretch your left hand out in front of you. Your right foot is flexed and your left fingers are pointing out in front of you. Three, two, one. Let's come back down. I'm going to move into the opposite side. So extend your left leg out behind you, maybe balancing on your toes. If you want to, start to lift your foot above the floor, keeping your, toe, keeping your foot flexed. This might be enough. But if you want to do a little bit more, you can start to raise your right hand and stretch your right fingers out in front of you, keeping your left foot flexed, finding balance here. and slowly bringing them back down to the floor. From here, we're going to bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Keep your left hand on the mat and your right hand can maybe join your knee, your right knee, or maybe your right hand wants to reach up to the sky for a low lunge twist. Remembering to breathe. We're going to bring your right hand back down, heel to your foot a little bit closer to the middle, and we're going to come up into a low lunge. So maybe you want to press onto your right knee to bring yourself up. We're going to bring our hands up above your head with the inhale. Exhale, arms come down to cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come down, cactus arms. Let's do one more, inhale, arms up. 
This time for the exhale, we're going to twist to the right hand side. So your left hand comes out in front of you and your right hand comes out behind you and you're twisting over to the right hand side. So I'm going to stay here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Hands come back to the mat. Now we're going to send your right knee back to tabletop position. And let's go into a child's pose. So bring your toes in together. Your knees come out wider. Bring your hips back and sit back into a child's pose. When we're ready, let's move back up into a tabletop position. Keeping our wrists underneath our shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're going to bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Keeping your right hand on the mat. We're going to extend your left hand either to your left knee or maybe your left hand reaches up to the sky for a low lunge twist. Opening your chest. Bring your left hand back down. We're going to heel toe our left foot a little bit closer to the middle. And you can maybe press your hands on your knee to press yourself up into a low lunge on the left hand side. We're going to inhale your arms up above your head. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. This time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, we're going to twist. So your right hand comes in front of you and your left hand comes behind you. So you're twisting over your left hand side. I'm going to stay here for three inhales and exhale. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, hands come back to the mat. From here, we're going to send our left knee back into tabletop position. Let's move into a child's pose once again. So bring your toes in together. Your knees are separated slightly. Sit back and go into child's pose, maybe relaxing your forehead on the mat. From here we're going to press up into a tabletop position once again. This time I'm going to go sideways. So from here you're going to extend your, I'm going to move to the side actually, extend your right leg out beside you so that your foot is parallel with the front of the mat. And you want to start to bring your hands over to the left hand side so that your left hand is next to you and so that basically your left hand your left knee and your right ankle are all in a line. And then start to open up your chest, maybe extending your right arm above you, or maybe even stretching your right arm over to the left hand side. So you get a really great side stretch from your toes, up your leg, up your right leg, and all the way across your right side body and down your arm. So really stretching through your fingers, stretching through your toes. When we're ready, slowly bring your right hand back down to the mat. Walk your hands back to the center. Your right knee can come back in. We're going to do the same on the left hand side. So extend your left leg out beside you. 
and walk your hands to the right hand side so that your right hand, your right knee and your left ankle are all in one line. Again, start to slowly open your chest and maybe extend your left hand at this time above you, reaching up to the sky or maybe even reaching over to the right hand side to the top of the mat. You can point your toes so you can stretch all the way from your left toes up your left leg, up your left side body and up through your left arm so you get a really great full body side stretch. Stretching through your fingers, stretching through your toes, stretching the whole body and bringing the left hand back down, bring the hands back to centre and back into a tabletop position. We're going to come to a seated position. So sitting on the floor with your knees bent in front of you and your feet are nicely placed on the floor, on the mat. We're going to move into a boat pose. So for this one, there's a couple of variations. So you might want to gently lift your left leg, maybe bring that down, then start to lift your right leg bring that back down. The way I like to do boat pose is to actually bring both legs up, but I hold on to my legs behind my knees or behind my thighs. And this for me is my boat pose. You need to keep your toes flexed or you can point your toes. If you want to go one step further, you can maybe bring your arms out in front of you. But wherever you are, even if you want to bring your toes down to touch, we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to lay down on the mat. From here, if you bring your right knee into your chest and hold onto your right knee with your left hand, extend your right arm up beside you and start to cross your right knee over to the left hand side of your body. For a gentle supine twist. Staying here for a couple of rounds of breath. Maybe closing your eyes if you feel safe to do so. Keeping both shoulders touching the mat. And back to centre, let's change sides. So extend your right leg out, bring your left knee in, extend your left arm out beside you and hold on to your left knee with your right hand. And start to bring your left knee across to the right hand side, gently twisting for a gentle supine twist. Again, remembering to breathe. Keeping your shoulders on the mat. Finding a gentle twist. And coming back to neutral. So we're going to move into Shavasana. So you might want to bring your feet to the edges of the mat. Maybe your arms want to be beside you, your hands on the mat, or maybe you want to bring your hands to your tummy, or one hand to your tummy and one hand to your chest, wherever it feels most comfortable for you today. And we're just going to connect with our breath again, like we did at the beginning of the practice. So not particularly changing your breath, just noticing it. Noticing your inhales and your exhales. Noticing how your body moves. Does your tummy move? Does your chest move? Are you breathing in and out through your mouth or your nose or both? 
just noticing these small things to reconnect with your body and your breath. We're going to slowly bring the attention to your feet and just let them relax. Bring the attention to your ankles and your calves and allowing them to relax. Moving the attention to your knees, your quads and your hamstrings and allowing them to relax. Moving the attention to your hips and your lower spine, middle spine and upper spine and allowing it all to relax. Moving the attention to your tummy and to your chest, allowing them to relax. Moving the attention to your shoulders and your upper arms and allowing them to relax. Moving the attention to your elbows and your lower arms and relaxing them. Moving the attention to your wrists, to your hands and to your fingers and letting them relax. Moving the attention to your neck, to your head and allowing them to relax. Releasing any tension. And lastly, moving the attention to your eyes, to your cheeks, to your jaw, to your tongue. Relax your tongue from the roof of your mouth if it's there. Releasing the tension in your jaw, closing your eyes and just allowing your whole body to relax. Release any tension. Feeling grounded and supported. Feeling calm. We're just going to stay here for a couple of moments. If your mind starts to wonder, just come back to your breath. If you find that hard to do, with every inhale, you could say to yourself, I am inhaling. And with every exhale, you could say to yourself, I am exhaling. And this might bring you back to your body and help you feel more connected and more at ease. If you would like to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer, feel free to do so. Otherwise, maybe start to wiggle your toes. Maybe start to wiggle your fingers. Stretch your arms above your head for a nice big morning stretch. Stretch through your fingers, through your arms, your torso, through your legs and through your toes, stretching your whole body. Maybe a big yawn. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big hug. And we're going to find ourselves in a seated position. So I know some people like to move to one side. I personally like to rock back and forth. So do whatever you want to do today to come up to a seated position. We're going to sit cross-legged, 
Maybe bring your hands to your chest, one hand on top of the other. And just thank yourself for doing today's class, for practicing yoga and for giving yourself this time for yourself. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. If you enjoyed this class, feel free to subscribe down below using the big red button. I post yoga videos every single Monday if you want to come back and there's a whole playlist as well full of lots of other classes. So if you want to do some more yoga with me, go ahead and explore that. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for a new yoga class. <laughs>